All right, so today we're gonna to talk about networking as it's going to build into a bidding project we're gonna do. Um, you may or may not be familiar with the, a program called LinkedIn. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. It's probably not super important for you right now, but we are gonna build a profile as if we are um, applying for jobs and networking a little bit. So remember networking, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know, which every guest speaker has reiterated over and over. Um, Zappos, I believe Zappos is a shoe company. Let me just check that real quick before I tell you that. Yeah, it's like an online retail company. Yeah, shoes. All right. Oh, they do a little bit of everything now, but they wear shoes a little bit. Their CEO says the difference between a CEO and a regular person is being in the right place at the right time, right? Take advantage of every opportunity. We all know so many smart people who do so little because they're not making the networking opportunities or they're not taking advantage of the opportunities they have, right? So when you go into events, whether that be a, let's say a job fair, a job interview, a high school tour, um, college tour, you wanna make sure you're going in prepared, right? So again, they talk here about LinkedIn and when you get older, you'll know what this is, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know who you're interviewing with, right? Maybe how long they've worked there, maybe some facts about the high school you're going to, come with questions that you want to, to discuss, you want to have answered, do your research, okay? If you're going to take the time to go to the event, you might as well meet people while you're there. So make an introduction, okay? It is perfectly fine, this bullet down here, it is perfectly fine to let the person know that you know who they are and that you want to meet them, right? You make them feel important. Like if you're going to a high school tour and you wanna make a JV team, or if you wanna join the drama club or band, go meet those people, right? All right, so here's a couple, just a quick example of you making that introduction. Excuse me, hey, I believe your name is Derek Huff. You're in charge of the biggest helicopter leasing event in the Western Hemisphere since 1997. That's a very specific detail that you clearly researched. I wanted to introduce myself to you because I'm excited to meet you, and I love the work you did for the large family event last year that you put on, right? Shows that you did a little bit of research, you're making an introduction, you're making that person feel important because you took the time to learn who they are, as opposed to this. Hi, my name is Bob. I work in finance. That's it, right? You're not, you didn't put, you didn't come prepared, do anything with that, okay? All right, so we talk about how to connecting with strangers. It's gonna be weird, it's gonna be awkward, right? You're gonna have to make those introductions. The people that make those introductions early on in high school and college are the ones that are gonna be the most successful. But what you don't wanna do is what they call the spray and pray approach. You just connect with as many people as you possibly can shaking hands, doing everything, but you don't have any meaningful conversation with them, okay? You wanna make sure that you are actively listening, you're opening, you're asking open-ended questions, you're practicing empathy, and you, when you're bringing them into your conversation, you're making feel like you actually want to learn that knowledge, because you do. Okay, so what we are gonna talk about a little bit is uh, LinkedIn, and I'm gonna skip over this just a touch because we'll go over it when we do the project. Um, but LinkedIn is a professional networking site that a lot of people use when they're in college as they prepare to get jobs. It would be great, especially if you're in high school, um, to create one if you're maybe starting a small business or something like that. And we'll, we'll get back to that in a second. Now, I'm gonna show you a video um, also with this slideshow here. Okay, so after that, this is true for any event, whether it be an interview, a high school tour, a college tour, you're probably gonna wanna follow up, okay? You're gonna wanna maybe send an email. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure they remember um, the time that they met you, right? And you don't wanna follow up two weeks later, right? You wanna kinda send that quick email after that. Um, you wanna minimize transactional nature, maximize interpersonal side, meaning you don't wanna be like, hey, how are you? How are you? Good to see you, blah, 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 right? You wanna make sure that you're being charismatic Right, that you're really being intentional about the time that you're with those people and that you are there to learn from them, okay? Uh, people like to do business. They like to work with people who they like, respect, and trust, right? We all know that's the case. It's how we pick our friends. It's even how we do business. It's just human nature at that point. So network at, with that in mind, okay? I'm gonna skip over this example here. Let's skip over this video. If you're watching, all right? All right, so what you're going to do after you finish watching this video is that um, I'm gonna have another video for you that kind of shows you what LinkedIn looks like. And then coming up after this, it'll either be today or the next day, will be a short project where you create a profile of your own LinkedIn, okay? Your own LinkedIn profile. This could be something that you create that you put out there 
to showcase yourself to help you network with people around you.